The relationship between a hunter and, and the animal that they're hunting takes on a lot of different forms and a lot of different meanings. It's so complex and it's always changing. It doesn't seem like we're connected to the natural world, but we are, we're inextricably linked to it. And this is a way to be an active participant and to own your role and to understand it more deeply and, and, and reckon with it. A lot of times in the field, especially because I am a woman, I feel pressure to shape myself in a way that lends credibility. Um, but I think that being a part of the Artemis program has really helped me advance as a hunter and grow in my independence and confidence in myself. Good job. Good boy. I mean, I started hunting when I was young. I think that really shaped my interest in becoming a wildlife biologist, understanding more of the science and ecology behind wild things and wild systems has helped me to appreciate them more as a hunter. And also being a hunter has helped me to understand more about how to study them. You know, there's a lot of time and effort that goes into getting good at something. And you want to get good because you want to be effective and be able to harvest animals that way, but it's also a way to show your respect to the animal. The majority of women get socialized to hunting by male partners, whether it be family members or romantic partners or what have you. And it can be really hard to reinvent the wheel yourself. So knowing other women that have done it, you know, logistically, you can learn a lot and utilize that, but also getting questions answered. Getting questions answered that men probably have never even thought of because it's not something they've ever had to deal with. Like no dude has ever had his period in the woods. Just knowing that it's been done is half the battle and giving you the confidence to go figure it out on your own. We want to create bold, complete sportswomen. And that means being able to take a deer on the hoof and turn it into a steak on your plate. Hunting is inherently emotional, from boredom to triumph to sadness, guilt, gratitude. You know, being pregnant and thinking about the next generation, I want my kids to be able to experience this, I want to be able to experience it with them, and I want them to be able to have those shared memories with their own children. And so we need the voice of women to be able to speak on behalf of, of our public lands and wildlife as a resource and advocate. Um, support is declining for hunting, there's fewer hunters, so that means there's fewer dollars to manage wildlife. So we're either going to have to find a new way to fund it, um, or we need to get more hunters. Ideally, we would do a little bit of both. I owe a debt to people that came before me and I feel like I owe a debt to the people that come after me to be able to keep it at least as nice it is, as it is, hopefully improve it and leave it better than I found it. I think that Artemis provides an opportunity for, for myself and hopefully other women to really own their role as sportswomen it's a privilege, you know, it's, it's not something that is easily accessible to everybody. And I feel really thankful and fortunate that I'm able to explore my relationship with the natural world through hunting.